The bike frame was made using weldments, end caps, and fillets. The frame of the bomber contains two components, a front and rear portion, that are joined through the rear shock and through rivets in the main frame. It connects the wheels, shocks, handlebars, and the drivetrain. Here's the handlebar of the bike. It has the grip handles, shifter, and brake levers attached. The brake levers and shifter have the ability to move with the use of advanced mates. The handle is mated with the fork, which causes the wheel to move accordingly with the handlebars. Mated with the front and back wheels, we have the disc rotor and brake cap. The wheel is made up of multiple components starting at the hub. From there, there are the spokes, which were created from a series of 3D sketches, uh, which then made to the rim itself, which is made of sheet metal and can be flattened. The tire base was started from a revolved boss. The seat is made up of just a few parts, the seat stem and the base. The base is made, it, it's allowed for the seat to adjust vertically. The rear shock was made as a sub-assembly of a few parts. This shock connects to the frame on the bottom and top through a complex linkage system. The spring itself is a sub-assembly including intensive mating to allow realistic spring movement. The damper includes a threaded shock body and a piston system with spring perches on both ends. The blue spring perch nut allows for adjustable preload in the spring. And on the side of the damper is a piggyback air booster, which allows further stiffening of the suspension. The front fork is a flexible sub-assembly, allowing front end suspension travel. The fork attaches to the handlebars with the crown located on each side of the head tube. The crowns of the fork are made using sheet metal and are formed using lofted bends and edge hems. Adjustable high-speed and low-speed compression knobs are located at the top of the stanchions for easy adjustability. On the bottom of the fork is an adjustable rebound control knob and a valve stem for air boosting as well. Here's the derailleur of the bike. Derailleur gears are a variable ratio transmission system commonly used on bicycles consisting of a chain, multiple sprockets of different sizes, and a mechanism to move the chain from one sprocket to another. When the pedal moves, all the sprockets move in unison, thus moving the bike forward. 